हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल आवर ई लर्निंग क्लास आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ढवले के बी वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर सीन वट आर दी ओरिजिन एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्कोप एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर सीन statistics is originated from science background then heavily and steadily statistics go for agriculture then uh, statistics capture everywhere and now it is any single human walk complete without statistics because we are followed statistics in every walk so statistics expansion is very large because we are seeing a scope and limitation of statistics so basically we know the what are the scope scope means whether that thing is limited whether that thing is include so we will uh, see in this video lecture whether statistics is limited whether statistics is include statistics is include in everywhere but i highlight some point in this powerpoint presentation so that will i will explain you so scope of statistics so point number first statistics and planning so you are thinking statistics how statistics is include in planning so uh, we are commerce students so we know very well uh, what is planning planning means to plan something so st uh, when we are uh, plan some something at that time we should followed statistics because without statistics planning is not complete we follow time we follow uh, numbers in planning so statistics is include in planning now point number second statistics and economics so statistics is also include in economics there are uh, very distinct relationship between statistics and economics because uh, we know about the gdp growth we know about the budgets we know about the national income at that time statistics is helpful for calculating national income statistics is helpful helpful for uh, calculating gdp growth and ratios so statistics is also also helpful for the making budgets so statistics is also include in economics now point number third statistics and business uh, statistics also include in business so how we will see we will see uh, statistics in business in, we know about the uh, in business there are having a transactions there are having a workers there are having a peoples there are having a management so statistics is helpful for utilization of worker utilization of work they are helpful for calculating skilled semi skilled and unskilled people their work their salaries so statistics is also include in business now similarly statistics is also include in industry also so industry one of the several part of business in industry there are having also uh, board of directors they making some decisions at that time they making uh, some estimations they collecting some data there are having a uh, also marketing at that time they collect some data from uh, peoples they select samples so statistics is also include in industry also point number 5 statistics and mathematics so statistics is a one of the branch of mathematics in mathematics there are having a calculations some sums so statistics is one of the distinct branch of mathematics so that is why statistics is also include in mathematics now we will go for next point point number 6 statistics and modern science now we are seeing uh, we are suffering from corona pandemic so at that time many as uh, research institutions making vaccine for uh, people to protect people to save people so at that time they uh, making vaccine on the basis of samples they selecting samples they research on there so in that sample selection there is statistics include so which sample is take which is a uh, which sample is uh, making uh, 
valid conclusion the sample is better so at that time we should follow statistics from research and modern science now we will go for a next point point number 7 statistics psychology and education so how statistics is include in psychology and education so we know the ranks we know the numbers when we got first rank we will very happy when we uh, get uh, minimum rank we will sad so that rank calculated in evolution in education evolution is a essential for evaluate the students because who is better who is average so work on their students so that is why that is important in education so statistics is included in education to calculating student rank percentage percentile results so we followed statistics in education so statistics is also included in education now we will go for a next point statistics and war so you are thinking how statistics include in war so in the second world war at that time they use operations research they use quantitative techniques for why why they use quantitative techniques because they are having a very less resources and they want a maximum result so that is why they some some operations they make some operations and do the work on that operations so statistics is helpful for making that operations in operations research so statistics is also including war and militaries they followed statistical tools for the protect from our mother motherland protect from enemies protect from enemies so statistics is include in war and military also so uh, scope of statistics is uh, conclude here now we will go for limitations of statistics so we will see the limitations of statistics uh, there are having a some limitations i mentioned here so i will read first statistics is unable to explain individual item so statistics is uh, unable to explain individual item because uh, they working bunch of atoms so that is why statistics is unable to explain individuals now limitation number second statistics are unable to study qualitative characters so there are having a uh, statistics is only deals with deals in uh, numbers so that is why uh, most of the time statistics is unable to, unable to study the qualitative data statistics only use for the uh, statistics is only able to calculate quantitative data not a deal with qualitative data so that is also one of the limitation of statistics then uh, limitation number third statistical result are not accurately correct so we know statistics is totally work on assumption we will see about the rainfall maximum time our uh, laboratories uh, forecasting about the rainfall but uh, many a time their forecasting will be false so statistics is statistical result is based on assumption and previous data so statistical laws and statistical uh, results not accurately correct uh, statistical results is not accurately correct maybe or may not be so it will be not accurately correct now we will go for next limitation statistic statistics deal with averages so statistical statistics is uh, working for the bunch of people so it will be only deals with averages not deals in individuals now we will go for next limitation quantitative aspect ignored so we also seen uh, in uh, previous uh, limitations statistics is only deals with quantitative data so at that time qualitative aspect will be ignored in statistics so that is also one of the limitation of statistics now we will go for next limitation many methods to study problem in statistics there are having a lots of method to study problem and every method give the 
different different types of results so that is why statistics there are limitation of statistics because it's a there are having a many methods of solving statistical problems now last limitation statistical laws are not exact i also told statistics statistics is work on only assumption statistics only work on forecasting so many a time statistical law will be fail and it's a not a accurate so statistics laws are not exact that is maybe or may not be so uh, there are uh, scope and limitations conclude here if anyone having a questions queries they will uh, contact with, with us on uh, google classroom and whatsapp group also okay today's lecture is conclude here thank you and uh, take care